Nontox New York here. In this short video, I'll show you how to find device screens and computer monitors that don't flicker. This should be of interest to people who have migraines and or vertigo. You may already understand that these conditions can be triggered by flickering light. Like me, you may have been told by your neurologist to avoid flickering light. Or maybe you've never made the connection at all, which is an easy mistake because the flickering of device screens may be hard to see. Some screens flicker and some don't, and some of the screens flicker only when you dim them, which many headache sufferers do because of the light sensitivity. So let me show you what I do about this. There's a website called notebookcheck.net. Notebook Check is a lab where they test computer equipment. Lucky for us, they now do product reviews. First, it was only laptops, but now they're reviewing tablets and smartphones too. They do very serious, in-depth reviews of products, testing them on sophisticated lab equipment. And being a .NET, they're not trying to sell you anything, so the reviews are unbiased. Since doing reviews isn't their primary business, they may not have every device reviewed, but they do look at Flickr. Go to notebookcheck.net to find this great information about the flickering on the device that you're researching. You can click on reviews or you can do a search in the search box. I'm going to click on review and let's say I was considering buying this laptop. I go to the review and I scroll down and I scroll and I scroll and I scroll some more until I get to the section that is about the screen. Continue scrolling down a little more, a little more, and this is what I'm looking for right here. As you can see, this laptop uses PWM or pulse width modulation to dim. So instead of decreasing the intensity of the light when I dim the screen, it starts turning the screen on and off and on and off in a cycle that is perceived by our eyes as being a less intense light, but is actually a flickering light and probably the worst kind of flicker. Here, it's also telling me that the flicker is going to become a problem when I dim the screen to 90% of full brightness. That's pretty bad. And the more I dim the screen, the worse the flickering is going to become. So this laptop I would not buy. What I'm looking for is a device that doesn't use PWM. As far as laptops, about half of them do and half of them don't. If I'm researching a device that I already own, this information could be very helpful because it will tell me how much I can dim my screen before I'll start to get a flicker effect. And you might find that the flicker doesn't click in until you've dimmed the screen to equal or less than 42% of full brightness, as in this example, which means you'd have to dim the display by more than half of its full brightness before the flicker effect starts to become a big problem. And you may never dim your device that much. Or maybe you do. The best situation is if the device does not use PWM. If I already owned the laptop that I randomly chose uh, to use as an example, the one that flickers at 90% of full brightness, I would probably leave it at full brightness and wear sunglasses rather than dim it and suffer the effects of the flickering. Or I would return it and get something else if I could. The same would go for smartphones and tablets. But what about computer monitors? 
I specifically chose this monitor by BenQ because it claims to be flicker free and it uses a technology called eye care when in fact research has shown that they don't care. That's a joke. I'm actually really grateful for the eye care technology because this monitor does seem to be easier on my eyes and it also includes a built-in blue light filter that can be turned on and off. So I like it and no, I don't work for them. I don't get any click-through revenue and I'm not even sure how to pronounce the company's name. The eye care is also available from other manufacturers such as Asus and I may be pronouncing that wrong also. If you have any experience with monitors from other manufacturers that are supposed to be less flickery, please leave a comment below so we can all learn from your experience. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. And for more information about device screens and other artificial lights like LED bulbs, you'll want to see my other videos on that subject. So remember to subscribe so that you can find your way back to Nontox New York. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Take care.